greetings of the day today we will discuss the questions on ellipse the question says that the eccentric angles of the extremities of lattice rectum to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 are given by these options are given so now we know that as the ellipse is This having two lattice recta with the focus a e comma zero minus a e comma zero. These are the two lattice recta we get. So the coordinate of this is suppose you take l l dash and m m dash. These are the two lattice rectum we have so x equal to a e so the, we have the coordinate at this end l coordinate is normally we have a e comma b square by a r we can get that as another one l dash is equal to a e comma minus b squared by a and similarly m coordinate you will get minus a e comma b square by a and m dash is minus a e comma minus b squared by a. So these are the coordinates. So we can take the coordinate as plus minus a e plus minus b square by a as the coordinate of the end of the lattice rectum. So this can be written in the polar parametric form is a cos theta b sin theta if the equation of an ellipse has x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 now if you compare these two that is a cos theta equals a e and b sin theta equals b squared by a you can have plus minus 2 so now from this a get cancelled so you get cos theta equals plus minus a e. similarly sin theta equals plus minus b by a this one b get cancelled now from this can we able to get what is tan theta so tan theta equals plus minus b by a upon plus minus e or you can get this as b by a e so tan theta equal to we get plus minus b by a e or theta equals because the theta is your eccentric angle so this is your eccentric angle of the extremities extremities what l l dash m m dash so the angle theta equal to or the eccentric angle is tan inverse of plus minus b by a e what you have done what is given in the question you read the question here so in your model also you have it. so the eccentric angles of the extremities of the lattice rectum to the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 are given by. So what we have to find out eccentric angle at what point at the extremities of the lattice rectum you know that the coordinates of the lattice rectum. So we can k get that as the coordinate as plus minus a e plus minus b square by a. So any coordinate in parametric form is a cos theta b sin theta of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 from there if you compare it you get tan theta equal to plus minus b by a e so from that theta equal to tan inverse of plus minus b by a e samajh me aage beta ab agla question pe pahunchte hain you read the question in your model also the question is written in the board also so now see that the foci of the ellipse 25 into x plus 1 whole square plus 9 into y plus 2 whole square equal to 25 are at these are the options given. So now rewrite this 
equation so 25 into x plus 1 whole square plus 9 into y plus 2 whole square equal to 25 if you divide by 225 you get x plus 1 whole squared by 9 plus y plus 2 whole squared by 25 equal to 1. So this is your ellipse. Now in the standard form of x plus 1 whole squared by 9 plus y plus 2 whole squared by 25 equal to 1. So this can be written x squared by 9 plus y squared by 25 equal to 1. So the center has been changed. So center is what now in this case you will get minus 1 minus 2 because x plus 1 equal to capital X. So capital X is equal to 0 is your center. So x plus 1 equal to 0. So from there we get x equal to minus 1. So and similar way y equal to minus 2. So this is a point that is the center we get. So now what we have to find out the foci. So for the foci, first of all, what is a square? So a square is 9 and b square is 25. So a square equal to 9 and b square is 25. We know that as b square is greater than a square. So that is b is greater than a. Now first of all, we have to find out what is eccentricity. Then we will find out the coordinates of the foci. So E formula, when B is greater than A, E eccentricity equals 1 minus A square by B square. The eccentricity E equal to root of 1 minus A square by B square. This is the formula. So now here root of 1 minus A square is what? 9. So 9 by 25. Or if you take LCM, you get 16 by 25, yeah, 4 by 5 as eccentricity you get. So eccentricity you got. What we have to get? The foci. So foci normally in standard form. If it is in the form of x squared by a square plus y squared by b square equal to 1 means the foci you get 0 plus minus b e. So here what is b? b is equal to 5. So now you get the 0 plus minus b is a 5 into 4 by 5. So it gives us plus minus 4 if it is in the standard form. But it is not in the standard form because the center is shifted from the origin to the point minus 1 minus 2. So according to this, this coordinate also will get change what's the change you get minus 1 plus 0 and then minus 2 plus minus 4 this is your change in the foci so this is the required one so what is the value you get minus 1 come on minus 2 plus 4 that gives us 2 another one you get minus 1 minus 2 minus 4 that gives us minus 6 so the foci, there are two foci we get in the ellipse. So what are their foci? So minus 1, 2 and minus 1, minus 6. Now check the options what we get. So here minus 1, 2, minus 1, minus 6. So this A option is your right option for this question. Question 3. If x squared by f of 4 a plus y square by f of 4 a square minus 5 equal to 1 this represents an ellipse with major axis as y axis and f is a decreasing function then what the value or where in which interval a belongs to that we have to say that so here given that x square by f of 4 a plus y square by f of a square minus 5 equal to 1 given. So now major axis is y axis. So you have here the ellipses in the form of this one. So major axis is y axis means so the coefficient that is b square is greater than a square or we say f of a square minus 5 is greater than f of 4a. Will you get? Now, we have more information. 
f is a decreasing function. So what is a decreasing function? f of x1 is greater than f of x2 if x1 is less than x2. A condition hote hai for f is decreasing. So in this case here f of a square minus 5 is greater than f of 4a. So therefore a square minus 5 is less than 4a or a square minus 4a minus 5 is less than 0. Now we can factorize this as a minus 5 that is the product is minus 5 and the sum is minus 4. So a minus 5 into a plus 1 is less than 0. Now we can represent this on the number line and then by using sign scheme we can get the values or we can get the interval of a is what. So now we get the critical points as minus 1 and 5. So put on the number line. So that is minus 1 and 5. So this side infinity and this side minus infinity. It start from right side plus minus plus. Now what we want it, we want less than 0. So less than 0 mil na hai to your values are lying in the interval minus 1, 5. So this only we say that as a by sign scheme. So A belongs to minus 1, 5. So what we have to find out then what are the values that is A value where it lies. So you have here the option as D, D as the minus 1, 5. So now here look into that what we have done. So what information given, so given ellipse, this is the format. So this ellipse represents an ellipse with major axis as a y axis. So we know that as y axis to be major axis means b square must be greater than a square. So from there we get this relation. And then given that as f is a decreasing function, so for that the condition is this one. f of x1 is greater than f of x2 means then x1 must be less than x2. So from there we got the interval of a. Yes, a belongs to minus 1, 5. So now read the question 4 from your model. And it is given in the board also. The point at the shortest distance from the line x plus y equal to 7 and lying on an ellipse x square plus 2y square equal to 6 has coordinates. These are the options given. So read the question properly and then check your ellipses here x square plus 2y square equal to 6. This we bring that into the standard form x squared by 6 plus y squared by 3 equal to 1. So the ellipse is here. 6 is greater than 3. So we can have the ellipse such a way. So now in this. The line x plus y equal to 7 you can have extended. So this is a line x plus y equal to 7. Now what they say the point at shortest distance from this line and lying on an ellipse. So we have to find out this shortest distance this one. So what is this point we have to get that. So the shortest distance can be get if a line is drawn or the tangent is drawn through that point and that is a parallel to these two lines. So keep it in mind here that if you want the shortest distance of the ellipse any point from the line then the point at that point you must have a tangent that tangent must be parallel to this line. So that only we have to get that. So now we have this one and let us take this point P as the required coordinate of the point we need it. So what is the point? So here P as normally we have A cos theta, B sin theta. 
what is a here root 6 what is b here root 3 so we get p of root 6 cos theta root 3 sin theta so at this point what is the equation of a tangent normally equation of a tangent is what xx1 by a square plus y y1 by b square equal to 1 this is the equation of a tangent now replace x1 y1 as this one and a square and b square these values if you substitute here root 6 x cos theta by 6 plus root 3 y sin theta by 3 equal to 1 so now this is the equation. I still you can simplify this as x cos theta by root 6 plus y sin theta by root 3 equal to 1. Now this is the equation of a tangent that is this one. Now this line and this line both are parallel given. Then only we can get that as the shortest distance. So if they are parallel, the slope must be equal. Slope of x plus y equal to 7 is, that is the minus the coefficient of x upon this. So that is minus 1. So slope of x plus y equal to 7 is minus 1. Slope of this tangent, what we have? Slope of this x cos theta by root 6 plus y sin theta by root 3 is you get minus cos theta by root 6 upon sin theta by root 3. We get or in other way around we get this one as minus root 3 cos theta by root 6 sin theta root 3 cos theta upon root 6 sin theta so from this we get root 3 and root 6 can be cancelled so minus 1 by root 2 tan theta or you can write cot theta by root 2 minus cot theta by root 2 is the slope of tangent now this is slope and this slope must be equal why so a do no line have parallel so we can get minus cot theta by root 2 equal to minus 1 or cot theta equal to root 2 or you can say tan theta equal to 1 by root 2. so tan theta equal to 1 by root 2 means you know the right angle triangle so in this if it is theta then this is 1 this is 2 so this becomes a root 3 so from there sin theta equals 1 by root 3 and cos theta equals root 2 by root 3 milega. So now these values of sin theta and the cos theta, if we substitute in this, we get the coordinate of P is what? So which is the required one? So P of root 6 into root 2 by root 3, comma root 3 into 1 by root 3 so root 3 root 3 get cancelled so 1 milega or a root 6 or root 3 cancel hoga to root 2 milega so the point becomes root 2 into root 2 that is 2 comma 1 so the coordinate that is the shortest distance they are asking the point at shortest distance from the line x plus y equal to 7. So for that what is the concept we have used? If you want the shortest distance means you have to get a tangent at that point that is parallel to this line. Then only we can get the shortest distance. So the required coordinate what we get? P as a 2 comma 1. So your option C is right. So the question may take so the length of the common chord of the ellipse x minus 1 whole square by 9 plus y minus 2 whole square by 4 equal to 1 and the circle x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equal to 1 is yes, these are the options. Now see here the center has been shifted 
and here a square and b square is 9 and 4. So now the ellipse you have the center 1 comma 2. So the ellipse is like this. Because it is shifted parallelly to the x axis and y axis. Then we get the circle here x minus 1 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square equal to 1. Its center is also 1 comma 2 and the radius is 1. So we get here the point is a is 3 so 3 comma 0 and 0 comma 2 as b. So now 1 and 2. So the circle we draw with radius 1 is this. So this is your circle and this is your ellipse. Now these two are not at all touching, are not at all intersecting therefore there won't be any common card because this is containing the ellipse is containing whole circle therefore it these two are not intersecting so when they are not intersecting it will not form any card so number of card what we will be getting zero number of card we get now read the question here if the normal at the end of lattice rectum of the ellipse x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1 passes through 0 minus b then e power 4 plus e square is what? So here you have an ellipse, standard ellipse a0 minus a0. zero b zero minus b now the lattice rectum is this one so if you draw the tangent at this point so the normal you have this one must pass through the this one then what is the value of e power 4 plus e square so we know the lattice rectum endpoint which is in the first quadrant is a e comma b squared by a this is your coordinate now what is the equation of normal at that point you know that standard equation of a normal is equation of normal is to the ellipse x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equal to 1 s a squared x upon x1 minus b squared y upon y1 equals a square minus b square. Now what is the point here? a e comma b square by a. So x1 y1 is a e comma b square by a b half. We substitute it a square x upon a e minus b square y upon b squared by a equals a square minus b square. So from this one a get cancelled and from this b square get cancelled and this a go up. So the equation is ax by e minus ay equals a square minus b square. This you have r ax minus a e y equals a square minus b square into e or if you open up a square e minus b squared e we know b square kya value have b square equal to a square into 1 minus e square ye value ame pata hai if it is a standard equation of an ellipse hai to so is b square ki value isme dalte hai to a squared e minus here it is a square 
minus a square e square. So you get a squared e plus a squared e cube milega. So usme se a square e a square e cancel. So now what we have a x minus a e y equals a squared e cube mila hai. So, is may say throughout a can be cancelled. So, x minus e y equals a e cube. This is the equation of a normal at the extremity or one end of the extremity of your lattice vector. So, a e comma 0. So, at the end of a lattice vector, if you draw the normal, this is the equation. Now what is given, this the normal is passing through the point 0 comma minus b. So this is passing through 0 comma minus b. So 0 comma minus b hai to kya ho sakta hai? So 0 minus minus plus e b equals a e cube milega. Now we get e also get cancelled. So we get b equals a e square b equal to a a square or b square equals a square e power 4 milega. That is squaring karte hai to b square equal to a square e power 4 milega. Already ame pata hai b square ki value kya hai. So b square kya hai a square minus a square e square equal to a square e power 4. अब throughout a square cancel करेंगे तो क्या मिलेगा? 1 minus e square equal to e power 4. हमें क्या value निकालना है? e power 4 plus e square. So take this e square into that side. So you get e power 4 plus e square equal to 1. So the value of e power 4 plus e square equal to 1. So this is your option A. So your option A is the correct one. So now what we have done, we have got the equation of a normal and that normal at the end point of the lattice rectum. That end point is A A comma B squared by A and that is passing through the point 0 minus B. That is what minor axis ka end point. So minor axis ke passing through hota hai. So the value of E power 4 plus E square what we get 1. Samadh mein aagya? Today we have seen the questions based on the basic concepts of ellipse. I hope the concepts and the questions you understood very well. Thank you.